Hello everyone. It's a sunny day. I hope you enjoy the sunny spring. Today we like to focus on the Pranayama. This is the breathing. Pali, inhaling, exhaling, ascending, descending. So sit in your easy, comfortable pose. You can cross the legs or whichever is you feel comfortable the easy. So easy that you can raise your hands in your belly. Just relax your shoulder, roll your shoulders down. Let your tongues rest up by your mouth. So that breathe in. Let's sense how you draw the energy from the earth. How you connecting with the universe around you. Exhaling. That release, release. So in Tao, we are teaching this is a saying, when we learn and knowledge, we learn every day to get more knowledge. By learning wisdom, we learn to let go every day. So feel that excellent and let go and create a space. Like the waters in that vase, that you, you don't empty it, that you don't have space for getting more fresh, the new waters. So, as you breathe in, and it breathes out. So, breathes out slowly, slowly through your, your mouth, like you're fogging your glass. Your glass is like, but close your mouth when you inhale. Breathe into your nose. And you feel in every part of your body, your joint, your muscles, every cell of your body. Exhale, feel the ah. How you link, connect it with the whole universe. And today we're practicing called the alternative natural breathing. So when you're ready, press your thumbs on top of your right nostril. Then you can put your middle fingers, your forehead, or just leave it uh, folding down. But you're using the ring finger for your left nostril. Okay, so close your right nostril with your thumbs. Breathe into your left. And then close your left. So you close both. Then exhaling to your right. Then inhale to your right. Close your right. Exhale to your left. Then inhale to your left. Close both. Exhale to your right. Inhale to your right. Close. Exhale to your left. Inhale to your left. Close the balls. Exhale to your right. One more round. Close your right. Inhale to your left. Close. Exhale to your right. Inhale to your right. Close. Exhale to your left. And so we raise the both hands back on top of your left. Whatever is comfortable for you. Inhale it. Cat and cow pose. So breathe in through your little belly, through where you sense your, your breathing, into your heart, into your lungs. That really sense that shine out of the world. Exhaling slowly, slowly through your mouth, looking down to your navel. Then inhale, lengthen the spine, draw the chest forward, relax your shoulders down. Exhaling, let's do one more run. Inhale, then exhale. Good. 
We ready? Rest your hands back and tap your lap. So you load your head over to your right shoulder. And then exhaling to so draw your chin and let your chin walk along your collarbone until your left ear rests on your left shoulder. Close your mouth. Breathe in. Draw your head in circles on your back. Rest your right ears on your right shoulder. We'll do two more rounds. Sense that tension of the neck that happened to everyone. And it might be happened to you every day. And it's okay. It's normal. You just take this chance that opens, relax. We all feel tension, we feel fear, worries, and that's normal, but just go ahead chasing that fear and worry. We just instead we feel ah, smiley, relaxed. Like we change the side. The air, the waters you you feel in. We feel in more of the joys as the last the worry. We feel in more fresh air. And that was to let go more of the older ears. So instead of worry or fear, and just let go mind to feel the joy and smile. Good. Then when you're ready, so you walk your arms forward. Continue to walk in forward into child pose. So you on your knees and then bring the big toe to touch and continue to walk your arms forward. Sit and sit. The hips on top of your heels and let your forehead rest into your mat. Your forehead cannot rest into your mat. Bend your elbows. But when you're sitting down to feel it, just let your low back into the lungs and into support. Your chest rest into your mat, forehead on your mat or your, your arm. My shoulder relax. It's ready, so bring yourself coming back on your all four. Cross your ankles, and then so bring yourself come out into standing pose. What standing is palm together, with somebody here. So you now draw your arms over your head into mountain pose. Lens and spine, keep your toes separate, like really open your toes. Create a space between your toes. Feel your feet plant really down. Balance, both on your right and your left. So like mountain coming to your core and lengthening. Exhale, turn the palms facing out to your side. Exhale, bend and fold it forward. Again, how bend your knees and feel yourself coming out in the mountain pose. Arms over your head. Exhale, hands back on your heart. Okay, let's try one more time. You know, draw your arms over your head. Exhale, fold it forward. Okay, breathe in, bend your knees and feel yourself all the way up into mountain pose. Exhale, raise your hands back on your heart. Okay. So, in, one more round. Inhale, draw the arms over your head. Exhale, turn the palms facing out to your side. And this time, using the hands, like brush your hip, waist, draw your upper body, or as your legs, curl to your legs. Let it hug them. And coming up, bend your knees and draw yourself coming up over your head and raise your hands back on your heart. On the next round, we'll add another pose here. So you inhale, draw your arms over your head into modern pose. Turn the palm facing out to your side. Exhale, folding forward. Okay. So bring your hands underneath your feet, palms facing up. Okay. So you inhale and come a halfway lift. Straight your arms and looking forward. Exhaling, so bend your elbows. And 
Draw your chest, pull your thighs forward toward your shin. Inhale and straighten your arms. Then release your hands upon your feet. Okay. So you bend your knees and bring yourself all the way up into mountain pose. Arms over your head. Exhale and hands back on your heart. Okay. So we add another pose. Inhale, draw the arms over your head. Exhale into full fold. You can come out halfway there. Okay. Then exhale. Bring your right at your back and bring your left leg to your back. With the shoulder about your wrist in a plank pose, draw your chest forward. Exhale. Bring your hip up to the ceiling. Then peel your toe and then draw your chest toward your thighs. Reload your heels down to your mat. So bend your right knees into your chest. And then so reload your right heels down. Bend your left knees into your chest. So slowly straight your right leg. Put the lift into your hip through the stress of your lengthens, length of your right leg. Moving the shoulder away from your ears and just bicycle you side to side. You will relax with the crown of your head towards your mat. Eyes gaze on your navel. And so ready to so walk your feet towards your hands. Okay. Raise your side and sit in full forward. Either coming up into mountain pose. Exhale, hands back on your heart. Hand together. Okay. Now we add another pose. Either arms over your head. Exhale, into standing forward forward. Inhale, come on into chair pose, draw your arms up. Relax your tailbone point down. Exhale, bring your left leg to your back, bring your right leg to your back. And draw it into your plank pose, draw your chest forward, put your legs in your spine. Exhale, into your down dog. Relax your hips up toward the ceiling. And I get how you walk your feet towards your hands. Raise your side and sit in forward forward. Either coming up into mountain pose. Exhale, hands back on your heart. Okay. We add another pose. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, into sit in forward forward. Inhale, come up into chair pose. Exhale, you can jump or walk your feet to your back. Okay. Inhale into your plank. Draw your shoulder to your back. Exhale into your down dog. Relax your hips up to the ceiling. Relax the crown of your head toward your mat. And so you bend your right knees into your chest. So you stand in the right at your back. Then bend your right knee. Draw your right heel close to your butt. Open the running over to your right. And then turn your running into your chest. Leaning forward until your right foot just rests between your hands. When the left leg opens your back, you really extend the left heel to your back and then leave your chest up into a lounge pose. Excellent. So then leaning forward. Hands rest by side your right foot. Bring the right to your back. Exhale into your down dog. And inhale. Bring your left leg to your back. Bring your side into a tripod dog. A three leg dog. Bend your left knee. Bring the left heel to your butt and open the left knee over to your left side. And then turn the left knee into your chest. Leaning forward until your left foot rest between your hands. Okay. Extend the right at your back, like right heel, reach the wall and inhale, come out into your lounge pose. Exhale, so leaning forward. Bring the left foot to your back. Breathing into your plank. Exhale, into your down dog. 
gaze on your navel, relax your shoulder to your back. And just jump or walk your feet between your hands. Braces are standing full forward. You can come out into mountain pose. Exhale, hands back on your heart. Palm together. Okay. Now we do a balance pose here. Okay. So raise your hands on top of your hip. Okay. Relax your shoulder down. You can focus on your heart. You can focus the spark and follow up your tree pose. Okay. So bring your right foot off the mat. Just down tip the toes of your right foot. You wait onto your left leg. So feel the ground is root into your left leg. And the right foot can be on top of your left foot or on the shin. Or you can bring it into your inner thighs, your left leg. Keep that running right open, just like you do the uh, tripod dog. Okay. So raise your hands back on your heart. Inhale and draw your arms up. Put a, a spot in front of you. A bit grounded, root it down towards your left leg. The stain leg. Really root it down, ground it. And your tree may be oak tree, wild open in the summer, or maybe the cactus. The openness to your heart. And exhale slowly. Put your hands back on your heart. Load your right foot back on the mat. Ready to change your side. Hand on top of your hip and feel just bring the weight into your right leg that's supporting you. The left foot on the tip of the toes, you can just rest the left foot on top of your right foot or on the shin or on the inner thigh. Okay, good. Then rest your hands back on your heart. Then you know, draw your arms over your head. And as your tree, which tree speaks for you is your. Grounded, rooted, that is that giant tree. Or your tree is something that different. It's a more green leaf. So it's your tree, feel the grounded growing into inside. Feel rooted down. Sicily, load your feet back on the mat. Hands back on your heart. Now we add into the uh, worry series here. Okay. So separate your feet out to your side. Turn your toes forward. Okay, that will help even more grounded. Hand on top of your hip. And so bring your hip to your back and fold it forward. Okay. Then rest your hands under your shoulder. Feel your palm to each other. Okay. So the inhale, lift up, just stretch your arms and stretch your legs. Looking forward. You may look a spot about three, four foot in front of you. Just slowly looking forward, lift your spine. Then exhaling, slowly bend your elbows and folding forward. You might rest the forehead on top of your fingers. Maybe it's not there, but that's all fine. You can come here up. And lift your spine. Then bring your hands just on top of your hip. So the exhaling, slowly folding forward. Keep the whole upper body straight, then slowly. Walk your arms to your back. Then walk your hand toward your back. Okay. And so bring your hands rest on top of your ankles. Okay. You now come out halfway. Exhaling, so folding forward. Let it a little bit more. Rest into curl your head. And then bring your arms behind your back. Interlace your fingers. You now come out straight to spine, halfway layer. Draw the shoulder blades, cold your spine, exhaling, folding forward. You can now release your hand, walk your hands towards your right foot, turn your right foot forward, and bring the left toes point underneath. Bend your right knee. So keep the right knee about your right ankle, okay? and draw your arms over your head. It's high and large. Exhaling, toes over to your right. You know, draw your arms over your head. Exhale, so leaning forward. Then we change the side. Turn your right foot in and walk your hands over to your left foot. So turn the right toes side the knee. Try to extend your right heel to your back. Keep the left knee bending 90 degrees. So left knee about your left ankle. You can raise your hand on top of your heel, but we just draw the arms over your head. Exhaling, so then leaning forward. Okay. 
and to lay your right foot back and to lock your yin and walk your hands back under your shoulder. Good. With your hands on top of your hair, straight your spine and so draw yourself coming up. Now we combine that together. Okay. So okay, jump and walk your feet together. Rest your hands back on your heart. Okay. So inhale into mountain pose. Exhale into full fold. Inhale, come out into the chair pose. Excellent. Hands in front of your toes and you can jump and walk your feet to your back. Breathe in into your plank. Just draw your shoulder to your back and lay the chest forward. Exhale into your down dog. Relax your shoulder toward your back. Good. And so bend your right into your chest. You know, extend it right into your back. And exhale, leaning forward, rest your rubber between your hands. Keep the left leg straight. You know, come out into a high lunge. Relax your shoulders down. Leave the arms out. Exhale, twist over to your leg. You can just rest your hand on here and your knees. Okay. You know, draw your arms over your head. Exhale, leaning forward. Bring the right foot to your back. Breathe this out into your down dog. Gaze on your navel, continue to relax your hips up toward the ceiling. Relax, close your head toward your mat. And breathe in, bring the left foot to your back. And then leaning forward, with the left foot between your hands, extend the right to your back. Keep lovely about your left ankle. Inhale, coming up into your heart lunge pose. Okay. Exhale, so then leaning forward. Bring the left foot to your back. Breathe this out into your down dog. Relax your hip, relax your shoulder. And inhale, you can jump or walk your feet between your hands. Breathe this out into standing floor forward. Inhale, bring yourself coming up in the mountain pose. Exhale, and hands back on your heart. A big step in the foot. All to the side. We do the triangle. So bring the right foot over, point to the end of your mat. Okay. Left foot turn in like pigeon feet. Okay. Your right heel will be a nice arch of left foot. Okay. So you stay, when you bring the arms out, your um, wrist above your ankles. Okay. So exhale, draw the hip over to your left. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Continue several rounds. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, relax your hip. Reach your arms forward. Exhale, relax your hip. You can rest your right hand any part of your right leg. You may on top of your knee feel easier. You may just walk or foot down. Um, just walk one hand, stand still. Looking up to the ceiling. Please stand in triangle. Feel the opens, lifting your heart. Or may feel just walk the hands back out, feel easier. Or you feel just going down, whichever is more comfortable. Rest the left hand back on top of your left leg. Bend your right knee. You can rest the right elbows on top of your right knee. Or you can rest the right hand inside your right foot. Okay. You draw the left arm so over your head. And just looking out toward the ceiling. And so bring the left arms up, a wide angle side stretch. Good. And bring the right foot in, we change the side. Bring the left foot point to the end of your mat. Again, take your time and feel the arch your left, a right foot in the line with the heel to your left foot. And draw the arms out the wrist and your ankle just in the line. Good. And bridge this out, draw the hip over to your right. Inhale, draw the left arms out. Exhale, hip over to your right. Left arms up, continue breathing in and breathe this out. Feel connecting to the in and out of your breath. That's you, your body, your lungs, and your whole spine in a triangle. The hips up and just like a triangle shape. You can draw the arms over your head if you like. You can bring the left hand back, feel that maybe easier, maybe feel more of a triangle shape. Okay, bring the left arms down or up. Just move and what is comfortable for you. Extend triangle, looking up. Okay. And it's ready. So 
in the right right on top of the right leg and bend your left knee. See your left hand can rest on left um, elbows on top of the left knee or just knees back. You know, draw the arms over your head. And you can look in up to the ceiling and look in your heart. And draw your chest more toward the ceiling. And then inhale, draw the arms up. Good. And so the streets are lovely. Bring the left foot in. You can draw your foot together if you like. You can jump. Okay. Do a little bit balance here, pose. Okay. So bend your weight a little bit more into your left leg. So the plant root is like you do the tree pose. And stay on your right foot. Just so you come in the running and come out off your mat. About 90 degree. So using the right hand, just so you open the running over to your right. So you keep that hip in more in a square. Okay. So relax the run is over to your right. Draw the run is in. And you can keep doing this or you can stretch your right leg whenever you like. Okay. Stretch your right leg out. And open your right is over to your right. If you're ready, so we coming back in the front. We can keep the knees bent and so they load your right back on the mat. And we change your side. Okay. Shift the weight into your right leg. And just stay on keep the toes of your left foot. And bring the left foot off the mat. So you open the left leg over to your side. Okay. And you can keep doing this in the next round. Or you can stretch your left leg a big toe pose. Draw the left leg out and open to the side. Or simply just keep the knees bent. And so you bring the left leg forward and relax. Load your left legs down. Good. Now, um, if you're ready, we'll do the warrior series here. So spread your legs wide and then turn your right foot out, point the end of your mat. Your left foot, like pigeon foot, ball. 45 degree bend, okay. And so you twist and bring your hips more square facing to the left leg. And when you're sitting down, draw the arms out, lifting your chest, lifting the chest. Relax the shoulder, relax the tailbone, point down. Okay. Then exhale and rest your hands back on your heart. And we try one more time. You know, draw the arms up. You can come out a little bit standing. Bend your elbows. Come out a little bit standing. Feel grounded, really down with your, your face down to your mat. Go ahead, exhale and slowly load your hands back on your heart. And we come back, twist it the side way. And open small to your side and sit on your tailbone. Sitting down, relax the shoulder. And look into your right fingertip. That's about your right knee. Good. A warrior two. Good. And so we stretch your arms. And stretch your legs. Good. And change your side. Okay. Do warrior two. Okay. Bring the left face up. And bring your heels almost to the square. Okay. And so we bend your left knee until it's almost 90 degree. Draw your arms up. Point your right face down to your mat. Lifting your left in your heart. Like a proud warrior. Exhale, so rest your hands back on your heart. Good, let's do a second round. And then lift into your heart. And then come on, it's standing, standing. Draw the arms to your back. Lift in your heart, lift up your elbows. Exhale, and come back straight to your left leg. And rest your hands back on your heart. Turn and twist into the side way, which will worry you too. So breathe. Hands back on your heart. And when you bend your left knee, open some to your side and looking over to your left toe. Like you open the shield. Open to the side, looking over on top of your left toe. So relax the shoulder. Good. Exhale, so we load your hands back. Good. And you can jump and walk your feet together. Okay. So cross your ankles and bring yourself come in a sitting position. Okay. Come and sit in an easy pose. Straight to rally forward. Good. And then you can bring the left knee outside your right foot. Okay. Bring the right elbow outside your left knee. Okay. Then inhale, draw the left arm over your head. 
and slowly using the right elbow against your right knee and slowly twist over to your left. Just draw yourself slowly coming, using the support your right elbows and your left hand. You can rest your right hand on top of your right leg if you feel like. Just sit this upright, inhale, exhale from the top of your heel. So the two is to the side. Good, and coming back. Draw the left arm over your head and come back. Just draw the left knee over to your left side and then rest the left foot on top of your right leg. You can use the left hand holding your right foot or just using the right hand hold your right foot, left hand hold your right leg. Okay. So which really is you like. Exhale, slowly leaning forward. So inhale and feel the blood and breathe in. Draw the chest toward the root, looking at right big toes. Exhale and just relax, relax. Find your low belly. Let you empty the waters from the glass so you can have a fresh water to drink. Well, you are learning the voice and you feel just let it go and feel the space. The space for which to, to create and learn our voice. And so bring your lovely forward. You ready to change your side. Okay. Bend your right knee and bring the right foot outside your left knee. knee. Bend, your, bend your left elbow. And using the left elbows against your right knee for the twist. And you can load your left hand holding your left leg. Okay. So draw the arms over your head. Exhale to so twist over to your right. You know, sit up right. Exhale to so twist over to your right. You know, sit up right and continue several rounds. You now coming back. Good. Um, so load your right knee over to your right. Bring your right foot on top of your left leg. Okay. So you, again, you can use in the left hand hold your right foot, the right hold your left leg, or you can put the right hand hold your right foot, left hand hold your left leg. So you now sit up right, exhale, so you release from the top of your heel. Inhale and just look in the eyes, the coach, that big toe. So breathe in, breathe this out, in and out of your breath. Slowly, slowly release. Slowly, slowly release. And again, how's the bring yourself coming up? Good. And slowly straight to right leg side. Okay. Raise your hand behind your back. You can point your finger toward your heel or point your finger away from your heel. Okay. So the inhale, so draw your hips off the mat. And then lift your heart. Your toes are pointing down to your mat. Roll the shoulders down and down to your mat. Then exhale, so coming down, sit into your mat. Okay, I'll do you in the forward fold. I will do one more run. Okay. So inhale, come out in and recline plank. Roll, lift your hips on the mat, lifting your heart. Roll the shoulders down. Exhale, and slowly load your hips back on the mat. Good. And when you're ready, slowly bend your knees. You're going to keep your feet separate about hips to waist apart. We come to do bridge pose. Okay. Then bring your hip a little bit closer to your heels. Okay. That's close and comfortable for you, but your feet stay on the mat. And so it lowers yourself on your mat. You keep your elbows by your side. So your feet about his waist apart, your elbows about his waist apart. Finger point up. So inhale, using the elbows and your feet into your mat. Come on into bridge pose. Draw the hips coming up, draw your chest coming up. Lower your chin toward your breastbone. So your leg have the relax, relax. Exhale, as we lower your hips back on the mat, slowly, like one vertebra by one vertebra. Then draw your knees into your chest. 
or you can draw your chin toward your knees if you like. Okay. Now we do two more rounds. Okay. So then load your face down to your mat and sense your foot about his waist apart and close to your butt. Okay. Then elbow by your side. Inhale and using the elbows and your feet into your mat. So draw yourself coming up. You may come out. Your waist can raise, rest on top of your thumb. Exhale and slowly let it go. And then draw your knees into your chest. Okay. One last round. This sounds your own. It's your own practice. So make it come up. It's a high that is comfortable for you. And you can feel the openness of the, your whole spine. Open as your heart. And exhale, so let it go. And we come into the plow pose. Okay. So you slowly roll your arms by your side, palm facing down. And so bring your legs over your head. Like a plow, this is spring. Let your feet dig into the ground. Let your hip release into the sky. Tap out in your palm. Okay. Then you walk your legs even wider to the side. So separate your feet to the side. Then using your hands, holding your big toe. And then relax your hip in the sky. And so you walk your legs back. Pull your over your head. Bring your hands just under your toes. And relax your hip. And so move your hands support your lower back. Keep our elbows almost just your shoulder waist apart but not open to the side. Okay. Then bring the legs up and bring the other legs up. Now do the tree pose here. Okay. So bend your right knee, open your right knee over to your right and rest your right foot on top of your left leg. Any part is a branch, support the leg. Point the left toes toward your face and further extend your left heels up. Left toes point to your face. To the left leg, a tree growing, growing, growing. And if you're ready, change your side. Bend your left knee, tap the right leg. Keep going, extending, extending. Just ready, so you can just bend. Keep your knees bent, or you can keep the legs open to the side. Okay, we just do a little twist. So you just draw the one leg over your head, or you keep them bent. Draw the one knee over your head and the other one to your back. We can do this with leg straight, all the same. And for just draw the twist and the twist. Okay, we'll do this with the leg straight. And come up, bring your legs over your head into the palm. Rest your arm by your side, palm facing down. And so they roll this out. They roll on your back. And hold your knees into your chest. So they roll this out from side to side. And we do more in the kind of, um, into the palm and really lengthen your back. So let that lens you, your back to feel the release and the soft, nice massage. Okay. Then when you're ready, so you open spot to your side and let the shoulder rest into your mat. You stretch the legs up to the ceiling. Okay. Then exhale and slowly lower mostly over to your left hand. When you turn and look into your right hand. And 
the stairs as long as you you feel comfortable don't have to stay really long and to feel that exhale relax a little bit more enjoy the face a little bit more into your hands and breathe in enjoy the legs up to the ceiling and change your side bring both legs over to your right hand and turn look at your left hand and continue just walk your right your foot towards your right hand relax your shoulder and relax your shoulder and inhale so bring both legs up to the ceiling and just bend your knees and hop with your knees into your chest so using the hands holding any part of your legs you can be on your ankle your knees or your big toes and just so we straight your legs up to the ceiling and just hang in here for relax into your hip relax into your lower back good that's great so you bend your knees and you open your knees out to the side and just make it and maybe use a tiny circle and then he slowly gradually increase like a little bit bigger when you feel more comfortable and breathe this out and breathe this in exhaling inhale Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Ready to change side. Inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And so it breathes out. So it breathes in. And breathes out. And now you can just keep your knees open to the side. If that's comfortable for you, please now just keep the knees facing up. And now to face back, come and back. So we raise your hand on top of your groin and using the hand just massage your legs you feel that support into your low back your hip and raise your hands back on your heart palm together interlace your fingers inhale and draw the arms up to the ceiling exhale load the arms over your head and so the open up out to your side and draw both knees back over your heart so we load your face into your mat but walk and wider wider walking out to the side and just let your knees falling to touch raise your hands on the lower belly the thumbs about your navel about a full finger below your navel just let your finger to rest there so when you're breathing you feel I can separate your fingers, sever your hand. Breathe in. Your knee may squeeze to each other. The exhale feel just draw the belly button into your spine. Relax. Also relax your knees. Draw the belly button into your spine. The whole back here rest into your mat. Then inhale. And you feel you're separating your hands, your fingers. And exhaling, draw your head to go closer and relax. Soften your breath. So your tongue simply rest in the upper palate of your mouth, the heart palate of your mouth. 
and relax it inside your mouth so your tongue can fill in the whole space inside your mouth and then your jaw relax you can continue just focus your breath right here or if you like you just let your like breath into your mouth one at a time one at a time and rest arms by your sides palms facing up let your eyes close and with your eyes closed let your mind's eye to open and scan to feel how the crown your head to your eyes let your eyes relax to your nose relax into your nose into your lips you feel you more smiling so your lips are gently touch relax face your shoulders let them relax and breath through the support underneath let your elbows your wrists and your fingers just completely limb and then rest. Just like rest on the table. Effortless. Your hips relax. Feel the support under your sit bones. Feel your weight. The top of your thigh. The back of your thigh. Feel them heavy. Let them relax. Feel the top of your kneecap and under your kneecap. Feel that openness in your kneecap. And that openness provides that relaxation. Easiness. Feel it on top of your shin. Your calf. Muscles relax. Let your ankles and your toes let them all relax. Now you're totally relaxed. From the crown of your head to the tip of your toes, your fingertips. And stay here watching your breath. Feel the inhale. Drawing the energies, the energizing you, refreshing you, feel alive, and exhaling, surrender to the support, feel you have all we need to survive. For we to survive, we need the love. But feel the love in you. In the light, the light in you. We should hold the universe straight up. In the light in you, we should have love or peace. And in the light in you, see the light in me. Is love, is peace. So the light in me, salute the light in you. The light in you, see the light in me. We are no different. We are one. The oneness of the yoga practice. The oneness of one being with another, one being with another being in this whole universe. That's the whole oneness. So when you're ready, just draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. And so you roll yourself on the side to side. 
try to decide. Then when you decide which way to go, then you just let the arm extending overhead and then roll to the side and using the hands. Support yourself, come on, sitting position. Sit in the easy pose. And just rest your hands on top of your knees. So you tuck your chins in and sense the mountain is your spine. Sense the openness in your heart. Rest your hands back on your heart, palm together. Well, thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.